now let's look at replacing the clamps on each section. With an older pole you'll often get better usage out of your pole and it'll be easier to use if you replace your clamps once they start to wear. Or perhaps you've got a clamp that has come off and you want to replace it. First of all let's look at removing a clamp that you want to replace. This is very easily done with a hacksaw such as this. Uh, at the smallest part here below the levers take a diagonal line and carefully cut through the plastic. Now you'll want to do this very gently so that you don't cut into the carbon. It doesn't matter if you slightly score the carbon because you'll be gluing back on top of it but generally speaking you can soon tell when you start to hit the glue underneath the note changes and then twist the hacksaw blade and usually the clamp will break off. If it doesn't you may need to insert a screwdriver and twist really hard or if the worst comes to the worst you may need to do another diagonal cut at the back. But there we have, we pulled the old clamp off. We'll throw that clamp away because of the cut. Now we look at uh, the sections. First of all we'll need to prepare the sections uh, for re-gluing and basically this is, means removing the old glue. And it's best to get upwards work away from yourself removing any old glue that you can. There we are. That's removed most of the glue. Now with a small piece of sandpaper we're going to sand the surface being careful not to sand below where the clamp will glue on. There we are, needs a lovely smooth surface. The quality of the gluing is very dependent on the quality of your preparation. And unless you do these steps, the clamps will probably not stay on again. There we are. So now we'll clean that back off with an alcohol wipe. And we'll leave that to dry. Now let's have a look at the clamps. Got a, a number four clamp. The, the newest clamps have numbers printed on them. Number four clamp for the number four section. Number three clamp for the number three section. And I need a number two clamp. And here is a number two clamp for the number two section. You also need to prepare the clamps for bonding on. So with the same small piece of sandpaper on the bottom inner surface of the clamp, Give a few scratches round with the sandpaper. Puts very fine abrasion on the inside. Do that on all the clamps. The moulded plastic can be very smooth otherwise. It doesn't always adhere to the glue well. There we are. And then using the alcohol wipe, wipe that off as well. All those surfaces are ready for bonding now. Uh, it doesn't matter too much what glue you use as long as you use a two-pack epoxy type glue. Uh, we've got one here that we use in the workshops with its own mixer. You might have had one of the Penlock tubes. Uh, if you have to mix it externally, squeeze a little onto a cardboard bit, mix it round with a screwdriver and then apply it to the surface. With this one we can just glue through the nozzle. To start off, apply a thin smear of glue over the entire surface of the end, making sure that whether you're using the nozzle tip or a screwdriver, that you actually smear the glue onto the surface rather than it just sitting on top. There we are. And now with the clamp on the inside edge, 
you smear the glue round so that it touches all of the abraded surface of the clamp. Don't worry if you've got slightly too much glue at this stage, it's very easy to remove afterwards. And then you put the two surfaces together. Pushing them onto each other it's important to twist the clamp in relation to the section so that the glue sticks to each other. So as you stick down you push it onto each other and there you have it, the number two clamp is glued to the number two section. Now once you've put that on, this glue takes about two hours to dry. Um, I always tend to leave them overnight before I would use them. What we have to do is we have to um, prop them upright. So leave them drying and now let's look at the same process on these two sections. Do the same again. Apply glue to the entire outer surface, thinly smearing it on. And then to the inside of the clamp, making sure that you actually smear the glue onto the abraded surface. Slide it together and twist the two together. Now prop this one upright to dry as well. On to our final one. You could just as easily apply this glue if you've mixed it on a piece of cardboard with the tip of a screwdriver. There we have it, nicely glued on. You get a little seam of glue sticking down below which is fine. And there we go. Right, after the glue has dried, perhaps two hours or so depending on the glue you're using, you'll want to tidy up inside the clamp because although a little glue on the outside doesn't matter, you don't want any glue on the inside. Now glue will sometimes seep out on the steam inside between the clamp body and the surface. So the best way of getting rid of this is with an old kitchen knife as used earlier. Use the sharp point and scrape any excess glue off from the inside. It might particularly be around the beginning of the jaws and you might want to get that tip in there and just scrape the glue off. The glue won't have stuck very well because you won't have prepared the inside edge um, for gluing so it will scrape off. Make sure you do that on every section.